Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE. Welcome to another episode of our Video News Roundup. Glad to have you along. If you are in the Midwest this fall, you might get the chance to go see Deso Systems' latest technologies in a mobile van. The company is launching a road trip called Simulia Reveal the World with a mobile van equipped with demo hardware, software and AR VR gear to let you try out its 3D experience simulation tools. Simulia is the umbrella brand for Deso System simulation software, so what with the Simulia road trip reveal? We've been told one of the things you can try is to experience a simulated car crash in VR and also experience the airflow around vehicles. There is also going to be a competitive simulation challenge along with presentations explaining how simulation helps you design better. Tour stops include Detroit, Michigan, Cleveland, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. For more, please visit the event homepage at Deso Systems website, shown here. Epic Games is releasing Unreal Engine 4.23, an upgrade to its well-known game engine. A critical component in CAD users looking to adopt AR VR experiences. Highlights for the latest version include enhanced real time ray tracing, chaos physics and destructive engine, and virtual texturing, among other things. These are listed as beta technologies, so by definition, they should be near production ready but with some room for improvement and refinement. The destructive engine was demonstrated at the recent Game Developer Conference. It's described as high-performance physics and destruction system available to preview in beta form. In the new release, it gives you fracturing and clustering tools to control and define how, how certain geometry will split apart when forces are applied. Ray tracing enhancements come in the form of DirectX 12 support for Unreal Engine as a whole, improved denoiser quality, and better ray-traced global illumination. The release also comes with support for HoloLens 2, Microsoft's professional-grade mixed-reality headset. Unreal Engine lets you bring in CAD data using a bridging tool called DataSmith. This is a key component in enabling CAD users to view their assemblies inside the game engine environment, ready for AR, VR experience and interaction. Simulation software maker Ansys is partnering with HK's research to develop tools to design and simulate advanced hazard detection in autonomous vehicles. This is expected to deal with edge case scenarios, scenarios that are not routine driving situations but still within the probability and the autonomous car must learn to deal with them. ANSYS brings to the table its autonomous vehicle development software solutions, and Edge brings hologram software to identify risks that are difficult to find with other types of testing analysis, according to the company. The combination, the partner companies hope, will result in autonomous vehicle algorithms that can better detect Edge case scenarios. ALI Technologies, based in Japan, is set to launch a cloud-hosted on-demand GPU accelerated rendering service called Bullet Rendering Farm. The rendering will be done on microprocessor maker AMD's ProRender rendering program, available for free. According to ALI, Bullet Render Farm is unlike a conventional render farm with a limited number of connections. It can render without a limit on the number of GPUs deployed because it uses an automated distributed algorithm. The service will give you a sample rendering, price estimates and wait time involved before processing the work. There are student pricing in addition to standard pricing. The standard price is 3 yen per GPU per minute, as listed here. This is roughly about 3 cents per GPU per minute in American dollar. For more, contact ALI at the Bullet Render Farm site, shown here. That is all the news we have for this week. For more news on design and engineering related topics, go to Digital Engineering 24-7. That's digitalengineering247.com. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel at DE Streaming. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kenneth Wong for DE Magazine. Bye for now.